Tonight at 6, 11 Alive has learned that Brian Roden, the man accused of killing three people over the 4th of July weekend in Cobb County, received $27,000 in PPP money just in the months before he was arrested. Caitlin Ross reports that he was able to secure the funds for his music career, even though he had prior arrests on his record. We found his small business records for his music career. He goes by B-Rod on Instagram and has nearly 20,000 followers. He applied for the Paycheck Protection Program and was approved for more than $27,000 this March. Having a criminal record does not disqualify someone from receiving the loan. The application asks about allegations of fraud, bribery and embezzlement. Brian Roden was accused of attempted murder in 2016. Brian Roden has thousands of fans on Instagram. On his page, he advertises shows he's scheduled to perform this weekend. His first post is from November of 2020. That's four years after he was accused of attempted murder on the Georgia State University campus in 2016. You can get out on bond because he had probably had had no prior arrest at that point, I'm guessing. He was a student at Georgia State. 11 Alive found out the records from that incident where Roden allegedly shot a teenager and was shot himself were sealed in 2017. But the charges have not been dismissed and there was not a plea deal or a trial. But public records show he forfeited more than $85,000 and a car to the government in 2019. Forfeiture has to do with criminal activity. You cannot do a, you can't file a forfeiture action unless you're alleging that the money that was seized was part of a criminal activity. That's what a forfeiture action is. Criminal attorney Meg Strickler says all of his past criminal history will play into what happens with this case and how soon more information will be available. It'll be a long time before we go to trial because they're gonna to have to do a lot of research on this new aspect. And then there's gonna be a whole lot more correlating of whatever, whatever's been happening the past four years of whatever investigation that's obviously still ongoing. Roden's first court appearance is tonight at 8 p.m. We have a crew on the scene now waiting for more details.